Hi, I'm Laura Croft, and I'm here to tell you all about my new game, Tomb Raider 3. You'll notice that there's quite a difference between Tomb Raider 1 and 2, but wait until you see my third game, check out the rolling demo, and you'll soon see that Tomb Raider 3 is by far the most exciting adventure yet. Most of you are probably thinking that I'll have new outfits to wear, vehicles to drive, and of course new locations to explore, and you'd be right. But Tomb Raider 3 also features a whole range of new effects that have been specially designed to make the game faster, smoother, more atmospheric, and, well, more adventurous. As well as a completely new landscape system that allows far greater detail than the previous games, Tomb Raider 3 incorporates an amazing variety of new elements, such as multicoloured lighting, snow, wind, rain and fog, a new particle system for more realistic flames and explosions, and even rippling transparent water, all designed to give the game more depth and the player more satisfaction. As for the enemies in Tomb Raider 3, well, it really looks like I'll have my work cut out. You see, the designers have brought in a special artificial intelligence programmer to make things more interesting. Although I've got my new weapons to help me, I'll certainly have to use my wits a lot more for this adventure. Of course my new moves will help me get out of some sticky situations, especially the dash. It gives me a real burst of energy that allows me to sprint until I get too tired. I've also been practicing my monkey swing so I can get across some of the trickier areas. And believe me, there are plenty of hazards that I'll have to overcome, as well as a variety of original puzzles to solve. As with Tomb Raider 1 and 2, I'll be in the water, as well as on the land. You should find me a lot easier to control in the water this time, so long as you don't drown me. I hate that. Although the water may look inviting, due to the new visual effects and pretty shoals of fish, beware, some of them might not be very friendly. It could be safer to go in a boat. But then again, with all those currents to battle against, I don't know which would be best. I guess you'll have to decide for yourself. The structure of Tomb Raider 3 is also different. Of course you'll have to play the first level to get an idea of what the adventure is all about. But after that, you can play the next three levels in any order you like, before you play the final level, if you get that far. Of course there will be advantages and disadvantages, depending on the order in which you play these levels. But I can't say too much at the moment. I'd hate to reveal everything. Well. I hope you'll take good care of me when you play Tomb Raider 3. I'll need all the help I can get. This is by far the most interesting challenge I've had, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.